What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to build one of these concealed American flags. So what's awesome about these flags is you can open them with a card. Just swipe the card across the front, wait for it to beep. And You're going to start off with a 1 by 12 by 10 and cut off 10 inches on the end for the union. So you'll see in this video I'm cutting enough boards for two flags, but once you get your union cut, bring it over to the table saw and rip the rest of the board into one inch strips. and then make seven more cuts at 15 inches. So now you're gonna wanna square up your union and rip it to seven inches. Next, you'll want to go over everything with a torch and just give it a light burn. After staining the stripes and the unions, I take them over to the CNC where I mill for the stars. One of them is just going to be the standard 50 star union and the other one is going to be a US Army flag. So I'm going to have the Army insignia on that. You can also paint your stars on or whatever you're putting on the union with a vinyl stencil. So after your union is milled or your stars are painted, I go ahead and glue up the stripes and then use Craig pocket holes and Craig screws to attach the union to the stripes. the face of your flags together you want to cut two 24 and a half inch strips of wood and then two 12 and a half inch strips of wood these are going to be for the actual compartment or the cabinet part of your flag Then you'll want to rip up those two strips into four three and a half inch wide strips. Then you want to bring them back over to the miter saw and cut 45 degree angles on all of the edges.
The next thing is gluing up the compartment of the cabinets. I'm using painter's tape to hold the joints, putting glue in and then shooting 16 gauge brad nails into the joints. On the frame of the cabinets all together, just take a little bit of sandpaper and clean up the edges. Then take a quarter inch router bit and router a spot into the back of the flag for the plywood to sit flush into. Right now I'm marking out where I want the hinges to be. I'm putting them in five inches from each side and then using a two inch Forstner bit to drill it out. When you're drilling with the Forstner bit, take shallow passes until the hinge no longer bottoms out at the bottom of the hole. When you're attaching the hinges to the frame and the flag, just put one screw in each hinge and then open the flag up and then put the rest of the screws in. Right here I'm cutting for the frame of the flag. I'm cutting these pieces an inch over the length and the width. The overhang for the frame is completely preference. I decided to go with a quarter inch overhang and I think that makes the flag pop out a little bit more from the frame in the wall.
When you get to attaching the top part of your frame, flip the door of the flag up to 90 degrees and then measure the thickness of that top frame so that your door can stay open at 90 degrees. Then go ahead and cut that on the table saw. The great thing about these struts are the installation directions are right on the packaging. So they're super easy how-to step-by-step instructions. And the same thing goes for the RFID lock. The instructions are right on the packaging. All you need to do is press the button, the reset button on the back of the lock once, wait for it to beep, and then press it again. And then you can swipe two cards. After you swipe both cards, they're now synced to the lock. The flag comes with four cards. Two of them are just in case you lose. And then the other two can be synced at one time. I forgot to drill the holes to attach the actual flag cabinet to the wall so I just removed the door and then took a Krig jig and drilled four holes 16 inches apart so you can attach it to the studs in your wall. When you cut the foam on the table saw, make sure you have flat constant pressure as you're running it through. And the same thing goes for the miter saw. I just use a little one by one here to keep it solid and flat to the surface while I'm cutting it. Once you've installed the four hanging screws, you're set to put the foam in. I like to put the charging cable for the light behind the foam just so I never lose it. And then go ahead and push all the corners in and you're set to go. So that's it for this concealed flag build. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so I can post future how-to videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.